Welcome to the last video about a single stage or color for now. What is interesting here is that stage yellow is the first stage that reached the so-called tier 2. So all the previous colors until the very beginning, so beige, purple, red, blue, orange, green, they are all considered being tier 1. From now on, every stage is considered to be tier 2. What does that mean? It just means that tier 2, and here stage yellow, is the first stage that is not caught up in their own view. They don't demonize all the other single stages. All the previous stages, they were so much in their paradigm, they didn't understand that they're in this paradigm. So a fish, for example, never understands that he is surrounded by water. I don't know who discovered water, but it was probably not the fish. Here in stage yellow, you gain this perspective wisdom and you consider every level as important. You understand that a company, for example, they need stage orange salesmen, but they also need stage blue people giving those stable structures. So stage yellow is the first stage understanding that there are multiple paradigms and all have their value. And stage yellow people are considered to be so-called spiral wizards. It just means that they can easily meet people on their level and adjust, at least for the moment, for the sake of communication. They really understand every single stage previously and they understand their thinking, their value systems, and they also understand that there's really a certain truth to it and that's a perspective that is also true. Stage yellow is expressing the self, but not on the costs of others. It's a high level individualism. Now looking backwards, it's interesting to observe stage red, orange and yellow because they're all individualistic stages, but your development and your individualistic lifestyle just becomes more and more mature. So stage red was a very egocentric and low level thinking. It was just all about your needs independent of the others. Orange then became a little bit more smarter and was a little bit more nicer and did not break the rules or kill anybody. They rather did marketing, for example. But they still try to cheat on people sometimes. But yellow really reached a point where they provide people with value. They have, for example, a business, but it's all about giving. And they're not playing tricks on anybody. They're just all about giving. Of course, they get money for that, but they're not trying to trick anybody. They just provide the world with value on any level. And this is really difficult to actually actualize this careers. Stage yellow is also not negatively motivated anymore. Of course, again, you're never 100% yellow maybe 80% or 70. So you're mostly not negatively motivated anymore. If you're reaching a proper and decent level of stage yellow, you're mainly positively motivated. And stage yellow can be actually transferred to the model of self actualization with Abraham Maslow and his hierarchy of needs. So self actualized human beings are stage yellow. Stage yellow is beyond self survival. So the previous stages, they still had some sort of of deficiency need. Green was all about need for belonging, which can be also transferred to Abraham Maslow and his theory in Pyramid of Needs. But now at stage yellow, you all fulfilled your deficiency needs and now you can have this positive motivation. And that's why people at this level are also highly creative. Self-actualized people or people at stage yellow are highly creative because they're intrinsically motivated at this point. There's no extrinsic motivation, which is mostly a deficiency motivation or a deficiency need. People at this level also value competence and independence a lot. And this is more important than power and status. This is secondary. So personal development becomes more and more important. And it's way more important than having money or being powerful. Also, you gain a great meta perspective. 
you love bringing things together, bring it all together, connecting the dots, having the big picture, but on a much deeper level than orange did. This is most important to yellow. Synthesize theories, create something new. You also understand that some perspectives are more good than others. And some are really bad. But usually there's always some minor truth to every perspective. But being neutral doesn't mean that you say everything is all right and you don't need to care. You can have strong opinions, of course. And you understand that there's not only one true perspective, actually taking every perspective into account. This should be one perspective or all perspectives. And this is reality. So you look at all perspectives, you learn and understand, even from the perspectives which just have a very minor truth. You also have no problem handling ambiguous statements or a paradox. You know life is a paradox in itself. So you accept different opinions and it's okay for you to put them next to each other. Concepts that would confuse tier one, they would be confused about that. It must be rational, clear, especially stage orange. But here you can put that together and again, we can connect it to Abraham Maslow and his hierarchy of needs, self-actualized human beings. They put those dichotomies together, for example, being selfless and selfish. It occurs that self-actualized human beings have no problem putting them together. And they understand if you're most selfless, you're actually most selfish. I put a link in the description box also about Abraham Maslow and being self-actualized because you here can draw nicely connections and understand this topic from different perspectives. In general, if you didn't realize yet, State Yellow is all about learning. They're diligent learners. They love learning. They're putting concentrated knowledge together. They have a growth mindset. Of course, also previous stages can have a growth mindset. But here, it's kind of a necessity because New experiences can only expand their horizon. That's the thinking of stage yellow. At this level, you also tend to be very self-confident. You're able to accept your feelings and you're also okay with not knowing things. You can confidently say things like, I have a question, I don't understand that. Of course, again, previous stages can also do that, but here it just becomes more and more occurring. Change is always welcomed since it offers the diversity yellow needs. They love challenges. And that's why you can also say they really have this growth mindset. In a relationship, people highly value their partner and there's no wish for possessing them. It's just a selfless love. And again, drawing the connection to self-actualization and having this being cognition. Nowadays, it's still hard to find yellowish organizations. Usually people from stage yellow, they're more freelancing and mass companies are not stage yellow usually. In general, there are not a lot of stage yellow people out there. It's still rather rare. And though in those kind of organizations, disputes are discussed openly, you're not hiding anything. They are also focused on the best quality and being most innovative. Also being sustainable just as green was. They put all things together. They know that we need orange salesmen. We need blue quality assurance people. In general, Stage Yellow has a strong network skill. They know what people put in which place and which position. In those organizations, working time is also perfectly flexible. It's only important that you contribute. Now again, even at this stage, which is considered a rather high stage, in the beginning of the 21st century, there are ups and there are downs. Upsides are, for example, synthesizing head and heart, putting those together, valuing both and playing with both and get the great and positive parts out of both sides. It is the beginning of thinking in a very free way because you're not clinging to those deficiency needs anymore. Solving problems in a very global and system thinking way. This is a very strength of yellow. For example, living an integral lifestyle. So you're putting multiple perspectives together. The mind, the body, the spirit, doing shadow work. Though on the downside, people tend to be 
arrogant because they know that they know so much more than other people. They also might occur to be insensitive to other feelings and being cold. They're not stage green anymore. So they often appear to be cold even though they are not. They're also a lot on their own, reading books on their own, for example, trying to understand life. And they are full of love, but they just occur. It occurs to other people that they appear a little bit cold and insensitive. How do you communicate with those kind of people now? Well, you can have really great high-level communication with them. Use deep metaphors, discussing global problems and system thinking. And you will probably learn a lot from those kind of people if you can identify that they're that smart. Some people don't even get it. They just think they're talking stupid stuff. But then you're probably stage blue or lower. As we said in the beginning, they are spiral wizards, so they can adjust. And they're not getting easily triggered as all the previous stages got. They got triggered so easily. If a stage blue and an orange person are talking together, that's how you create conflicts because they don't understand each other. They're getting triggered by their different thinking. Stage orange, all about thinking. Stage green, all about love, for example. There's this misunderstanding. How can you misinterpret life? Just this idealistic crying dude. That's what orange thinks, green thinks. You're just this over-rationalizing person. You don't, don't under... You don't understand life. But here at stage yellow, they are spiral wizards. So even if you talk with them in a blue way, they can adjust and talk with you. So here, it is not so important to use the right words because you can't trigger yellow so much. Now, in general, a human being tends to be more collectivistic or more individualistic. In the Western society, especially male, they tend to be very individualistic. So, if you're at stage orange, you probably like yellow very much. But you don't like green. You don't want to go through green. You just instantly want to go up to yellow. And if you're at stage green, you probably don't think so well about stage yellow. You more want to go stage turquoise. And that's a normal trend, but understand again that you have to go through every single stage according to this model. Also, be careful with rating yourself stage yellow. Just because you're putting the mind and the heart together and you rationally understand and feel a little bit that both parts are important doesn't mean that you're stage yellow. You're probably at the later phases of stage orange. Yellow is really over the deficiency needs. They don't need any sense of belonging anymore or other deficiency needs. They think in a much more complex way and they really, really gain perspective wisdom because they are tier two just such a difference to tier one. Okay, now since this was the last video about a specific stage of the spiral dynamics model for now, we will still talk about some other topics regarding the spiral dynamics model. We will still talk about how to transition. So if you're right now finding yourself in transition phase, we will talk about how you can boost that understanding in general growth and transition according to this model. And I will specifically shoot a video about diagnosing people at which stage they are, what kind of questions you ask, what kind of tools you use so you can understand them better and be the spiral wizard and meet them at their level. And finally, congratulations that you actually watched all those videos until now. Not a lot of people do that. They rather chill on the couch and do Netflix and chill. Because it's emotionally difficult to watch those sort of podcasts and just understanding this whole model, not instantly seeing how you can use this model practically. So I'm glad you did that. Stay tuned. Don't forget about this model. Look around other people in your life. Understand and observe. Not try to be this person who wants to change everybody and helps everybody to lift them up to the next level. That is not working. You can only help people who are willing to change and who are about to transition. You also can't boost their development. If they're deeply stage orange, they still have to experience stage orange for years until they can understand the downsides. It takes time. So be patient with that and don't become this expert by now trying to convert everybody. I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned 
and bye.